Shane here. I am coming to you guys today with a product review about something I'm super excited about. Um, it's actually an unboxing. I'll do a full review of this uh, probably in about 18 days. But kind of let you know what this is. This is a new incubator for my quail eggs. This is the Barodo Lumia 8. I was kind of deciding between the Lumia 8 and the Brinzia Mini Advance 2. Oh, I was trying to get a video in before the kids woke up, but I seems like I have not succeeded. It's one of my little daughters here that wants to come over. She just woke up. <laughs> so she's hanging out with daddy today while mommy's at work <clears throat> and the three others. So hopefully, maybe she'll just be the only one that wakes up. If not, you'll see a few more kids popping in and out. It's hard to do these videos inside. It's raining today, as it's always been. So uh, every weekend, it seems like it's raining. So I'm doing this inside, trying to do it early before everyone wakes up. So anyways, this, like I said, I was between this and the Brinzia Mini Advance. Um, the Brinzia Mini Advance ran about $20 more than this. Plus, you had to buy a, uh adapter to actually hold the quail eggs. And it only holds... I think it only holds 12 quail eggs, whereas this will actually hold 32 quail eggs. It holds eight chicken eggs, which is the same as the Brinzia, but it holds 32 quail eggs, which is really what I'm interested in for. So I got two of these, actually. We're putting together some rental hatching kits that we'll be doing, um, hoping to start getting those out next month. Um, and these will be the incubators that are going to be in them. So I bought two of them to give them a test run before we start putting them in our rental hatching kits. Um, that people can rent and hatch out their own chicks um, in their home or in their school or in their classroom. So these will be the incubators that will be going in those, but I wanted to kind of give them a test run. So I have 60 eggs. I'm going to be putting in both incubators and then, you know, 17, 18 days after they hatch out and hopefully all goes well, I'll be doing a full review of this. But I kind of did want to just do the little unboxing about it. Um, one of the things I'm tell you right off the bat is these are made in Italy. Um, they're not a Chinese amazon incubator that you're gonna get um that's what i've used up till now and i've had so many mixed results sometimes i get decent hatch rates sometimes i get really poor ones um i've put in uh hygrometers thermometers in the incubators of the ones that i have so far which i've just gotten off amazon and i mean the temperature and the humidity is just depending on where it is in the incubator, you can just see it's all over the place. So I kind of wanted to get something that was just going to give me a better hatch rate. It's going to be a little more accurate, um, a little more bulletproof, and I'm hoping to get that out of this. So let's go ahead and open her up. <clears throat> I'm really excited about these because their reviews on these are just outstanding. So right off the bat, you kind of see you're in another league with these. Because uh, Barodo does this calibration sheet that they give you with these incubators. Um, it has all the information, the tuning report number, um, the manufacturer, who calibrated it, the model, the serial number, the calibration certificate, and the signature of the person who actually did the tuning and the calibration. So you know right off the bat when you get this machine you're getting something of quality. You're also getting the manual, and it's a very well put together manual. Um, <clears throat> it has all the information you can ever need for the machine in here. Um, again, the declaration of conformity, showing that it's been tested. Um, they put these through a pretty rigorous testing process before they release them. You know, your page, it shows kind of like what everything is and outlines it all for you. Um, you can just tell as soon as you open this up that it's it's a different level of incubator than maybe the, you know, the Chinese knockoffs that you're getting on Amazon. Um, I will say, price-wise, um, I got this from Premier One Supply. I think it was $198, so they're not necessarily super cheap, but they're not crazy expensive either. The ones that I've gotten in the past from Amazon, you're going to see some of the um, kind of the non-name brand just... Anyone can put out an incubator and throw it on there. Um, they're going for about a hundred bucks. So you're figuring for the price of two of them, you can get one of these. 
which if you get one of those, in my experience, after doing this, you're probably going to want to get something a little better at some point. So it might just be one of those things that's better to save up or maybe see if someone's selling on a marketplace or something like that and invest in a better machine. And again, I haven't used it yet, but I'm so confident with the reviews that I've seen that this thing's going to be awesome. So, definitely packaged really well in here. It's all bubble wrapped. Open this up here. Man, really packaged well. <laughs> Try to find the scene. There it is. See what we got. There's your top. This has your temperature display controls. <laughs> and even just holding it and feeling the quality of the material, you can tell it's made well. I mean, it is really made well. <laughs> you got your power cord. Another cool thing is they actually give you a, um, like a cigarette lighter charger to plug into your car if god forbid you lost power in your house i think that's kind of a cool little thing because any of us who live in areas that get storms regularly not a bad idea to have that so there's your power cord there's your um charger for your car this is the base this is kind of the reason i think this is such a cool incubator this is the holding tray for your eggs and what it actually does is you can fit four quail eggs in each one of these sections or one large chicken egg or goose egg and it keeps them pointy side down so that the air cell is up on the top let me bring you down here so you can kind of see how this is set up as you can see this is the base the, uh, it slides right in here and then it tilts it and it rotates it. There's a little arm here, a drive arm, that will actually move the, um, the egg tray so that it's always moving in the right direction. And again, this is just really well made. <clears throat> These are the fill ports for your water. There is no, um, one of the things I was kind of surprised, but it's not a huge deal. There is actually no um, humidity control on this. You can buy a separate humidity pump, which runs about as much as the incubator itself. So I didn't feel that was necessary where I live. I don't focus a ton on humidity. Um, I pretty much do a dry hatch for the first 14 days. The last three days, I throw a little water in there and it seems to work out for the most part. Um, my humidity in the house is generally running 25, 30% as is. So that's what it is in the incubator. I don't add anything. And then at the end of the days, I bring it up to about 45%, 50%, um, which some people think is a little low, but in all honesty, I found with quail, um, they don't need that 75, 80% humidity at lockdown. Um, it's, it's too much, it's too much. And they're not gonna do well. They're gonna drown in those eggshells. So I keep it a little lower. Um, and that's pretty much it. Give you guys a final shot of what it looks like put together here. Um, but it is a really nice machine. Really well built. First impressions are that this thing is going to allow me to hatch um, for years to come with this machine. And that the customers who are going to be using this in their hatching rentals, I think are going to have great hatch rates. So... That's kind of an unboxing, first impressions, first look at this. Um, I'll be doing another video once I actually put this through its paces. Like I said, I got 60 eggs that'll be going in this one and the other one I got to give it a test run and we'll be back and we'll do a full review on it in a couple weeks. Um, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and thank you for uh, spending your morning with me. Take care, bye. Oh, there's Nadia. <laughs>